What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365 Geek, and today I am talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions, and we're going to talk about the add function in the math functions section. So add is a math function, so a lot like you would normally do with add, it is adding two numbers together. So this function allows you to add um, two numbers um, of different types together. So the different types thing. Usually in sort of coding languages, you need to have, or in any sort of computer programming, you need to have numbers that are of the same type, uh, or you may need to do conversions to convert one type to another. This function in Power Automate actually allows you to add either an integer or a float together with no need to convert either way. So let's take a look at it. So in Power Automate here, uh, I have a manual trigger flow and I've got a couple of number inputs. We've got number one and number two. And then we have a compose action down here. So if I click into compose, and if I click expression, and then scroll down to math functions, uh, we can see there is the add function here. So it just says, it has two variables, first number and the second number. It says returns the result from adding two numbers. So it's slightly limited. It'll only allow you to add two numbers, but if you're working with multiple numbers, you can do this um, you know, varying times and you can like add on top of all the numbers and stuff like that into, um, into other things. So if we click uh, add there, and we're gonna switch back over to dynamic content, we'll click uh, number input one, and then we'll add a comma, and we'll add number input two. So it's just gonna add that first number up here with that second number down there. So if we click OK, and we'll go into there, and we'll test this. So we'll click test, I'll perform the action. So number one, we'll choose number five, and in number two, we'll choose number three. Uh, we'll click run flow, we'll click done, run successfully, and we can see that the output is eight. So we see the number number one is five, number two is three, and we can see the output is eight. Now, I did mention that we can also use um, floating point numbers. So again, we're going to test. Uh, we'll choose number five, and then this one we'll choose uh, 5.9. And we'll add those two together. Click done. And we can see the output is 10.9. So again, it's not doing any sort of rounding. It's not doing any sort of conversion. All it's doing is taking either the integer or the float that you're passing in and then just adding those two together. So it's a bit of a basic uh, basic one, this. But again, it has a lot of uses um, for, for what you need it to. So as always, I'll have to know what you guys use it for uh, down in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, please like and please share it um, with your friends if you found it useful. Uh, and I'll see you next time.